Good morning. Thank you all for being here to celebrate Dad's life. I never thought we would be doing this. It just seemed like he was going to live forever. He had a disdain for water, drank Diet Coke and bourbon, not together, <laughs> ate pound cake, cheesecake, or rum cake for breakfast, and lived to 92. <laughs> Truly miraculous. <laughs> Rather than discuss his political career, which we'll hear a lot about today, I would like to talk about Dad as a person, a father and grandfather. He would prefer to talk about sports, performing arts, and most importantly, family. Family meant everything to Dad. Christmas Eve at Pop's house was a highlight for the grandkids. He would sit in his corner chair holding court and giving out gifts. Some of the gifts, once he learned to order online, were creative to say the least. <laughs> but everyone got a kick out of them. Fortunately, the grandkids, the grandkids were able to spend a lot of time and enjoy Pop for a long period of time. His big personality, stories of his life and career will be cherished forever by our children. He came up with Pop's camp, which I think is a little different than the one that Scott, this was a tougher version. <laughs> when if the kids were acting up, the offender would have to go to Pop's camp. I think the threat alone kept everyone in line. <laughs> the Atlanta Braves were his favorite sports team, a well-run, successful organization from top to bottom, unlike his second favorite team. With a World Series win a few years ago and an impressive team this season, they kept him happy through his days. Dad had a solid core of staff through his political journey. And I prefer not to call them staff because they are friends and they have stuck with them through thick and thin. Because I have seen them in recent years, Dick Benson and Tom Dudchick can confirm he was not easy. I'm sure everyone who worked with Dad has great stories of his idiosyncrasies. Whenever I see Dick or Tom, I have them tell some of the greatest hits of pop stories. They are pretty entertaining, probably not in the moment, but looking back, everyone could have a few laughs about them. If you are a friend of Dad's, you are a friend for life. If you are on the other side, watch out. <laughs> this group who are here today can attest to his strong will and devotion. The only political story I will tell is how Dad and his colleagues got things done. He would tell us at the end of a long day, battling each other on the floor. They would meet for a few drinks and iron things out. It didn't matter party affiliation. The goal was what was best for the people. Pretty simple. My wish, as a tribute to Dad, is to revert to what is best for the people, the state, and this country, not personal agenda or party affiliation. A friend passed along this thought regarding Dad. Our country would be in better shape today if there were more like him in positions of authority. As we leave here today, let's all take from Dad's playbook to carry on his legacy. I thank all of you who have passed along memories, stories, thoughts of how Lowell Weicker impacted their lives. It means so much to our family to hear what a difference Dad made in this world. We thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs>